Hi, welcome back again. My name is Fuego. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to quantize audio. Uh, in Pro Tools, it's called Elastic Audio. Elastic, how to stretch the audio pretty much. So to finish up here, we're going to uh, add some uh, phase and then consolidate. <laughs> Uh, we're going to add some fades to this, um, to what we started, uh, finish up what we started in the previous video and add and consolidate it. That text came in and had me all discombobulated. All right. <clears throat> it may be a few of them coming because it's the first of the year and people are telling everybody else and we're telling each other, you know, happy new year and stuff like that. Well, happy new year to you. If you have, if you're watching this at the top of the year, uh, back to the tutorial. Um, so to add fades, I'm going to press and hold command key and go to the top of the clip and wait until the, my cursor turns into this, this box. You know, half of it is shaded, uh, this box here, and drag. So the reason why I'm holding the command key, if I don't, it will snap to the nearest uh, grid value, which I, I don't want at the moment. So I'm, I'm just putting these, you know, slight fades on here. And uh, the next thing for me to do is to consolidate. What I'm going to do here is hit Shift, Alt, in three on the number keypad and that's going to consolidate and once it consolidates it's a brand new um it's a brand new clip or trend not trends in but region if you're in like uh, pro tools 8 or whatever so it's a whole new clip so once i save close and come back to this project i cannot undo this here now this is a new clip all right, so the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to find um, these keys right here, and we're going to snap them to the grid automatically. We're not going to do anything manual. Um, let me bring this back to small, large. So I'm sure you can tell how bad of grid this is. So to shrink my window view, I press the key R to do that. So R and T, shrink and expand what you're looking at. So T for expand and R for shrinking. I'm gonna call it shrinking. So now, I'm just going to zoom in right here. Maybe I meant to say zoom. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to zoom into this section here. And we're going to go and verify that these were automatically as well snapped to the grid. Okay? So so this is called elastic audio. So first thing you want to do is uh, you want to, so this is a polyphonic. Polyphonic means there are multiple notes involved in these, uh, in these blobs and these, you know, in this, that, whatever that is. This is, this is a triad, I believe is being played. So that's three notes. <clears throat> so we're going to tell Pro Tools that we're going to be working with uh, something that has multiple notes in it. And then we're going to go up here and go from waveform to warp. So once we hit the warp, we get this kind of thing right here. It looks like that. So once we get it to look like that, now if you're in the mood to spend all day doing this, you can hit uh, shift and manually snap them to the grid. Like I was saying, but if you hold command while you hold that shift you can slide all right but this is not what we're here for we're here for the automatic quick fix thingy so what i'm gonna do 
is I just unselect it. What you want to do is select the clip, select it, and you're going to hit Alt Zero, and that's going to bring the um, this it's called event operation. And from there, I have mine set to 16th note quantized grid. Um, if if yours is not set to the uh, elastic audio event, you want to set it to that. And then you're going to go down here and set uh, your uh, notes to whatever you want to set, whatever you want to set it to. Mine is going to go back to 16. And I'm going to hit, make sure it's uh, selected, and I'm going to hit apply. As you can see, once I hit apply, everything is automatically snapped to the nearest grid value or to whatever they deem makes sense because it's automatic. All right. So before. And after. So now when you're doing that, you may get artifacts, which is what you're hearing right there. OK. All right. So this has been and this is the other thing that you can clean up after. But one more thing before I let you go. So um, when you do this and it's now going to process in real time. So that is going to tax your CPU a little bit more. What what I usually do is I go back to form and go to um, hold consolidate it. I'll hit shift option three to now commit to this uh, to this edit or I'm gonna call it edit and then at this point I'm gonna come back to uh, here and hit none. Okay, so that is now uh, going to be um, its own thing. It's a new audio. There's no once you save, close Pro Tools. There's no going back. Right now, you can undo this. You can undo all of this. Right. So it can be undone as long as you haven't closed Pro Tools. Once you close, it's a new audio. It's done. It's never coming back unless you have a copy of it you have a backup copy of it of this session saved somewhere okay um again my name is fuego thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to improve your mix on how to get your mix up to par with the pros <laughs> and i'll catch you in the next one peace